Okay, today I'm going to show you how to run a test for total calcium hardness and the difference between that and total hardness itself as a measurement in your pool water. It's important that your calcium level is within range too low and it becomes aggressive and that means that it could uh, eat your plaster and your decking and too much hardness will cause uh, scale buildup on your tile line and also onto the plaster itself. Okay, first you have to know the difference between total calcium hardness, which measures the calcium level in your pool, versus total hardness, which also measures the calcium and magnesium. So these test strips will measure um, just your total hardness and not just the calcium hardness. So they're not quite as accurate. They're good for a ballpark to see if you're in range, but to get a true test, you're going to need a Taylor test kit that measures uh, just calcium hardness. So according to the total hardness test in this pool, you're looking at around 500 or so and so that's total hardness it's not the calcium hardness like again again I mentioned it just measures your total hardness in your pool which includes magnesium and if you don't have a tailored test kit you can definitely get it run at your local pool store they'll test your calcium hardness for you they recommend it once a month but you can pretty much tell in your area if your water is hard or not just by your tap and that's part of the equation with the hardness of your pool water is what is the water like coming right into the pool uh, what's known as your fill water and so you can see the range on the test strips are very broad 150 250 uh, difference in range whereas the Taylor test kit calcium hardness test with, is within 10 parts per million so it's a very accurate test compared to this ballpark total hardness reading and again, it also measures the magnesium in your pool, so it's not quite as accurate as the drop test. So the only effective way to lower calcium hardness is to drain some water down and fill it with softer water. But if you're in an area like mine where the water is hard coming out of the tap, that may not be practical. So what I do to control the hard water in my pool, my calcium hardness level is around 500 or so, 4 to 500 it generally stays at. I use muriatic acid to keep the pH at 7.2, 7.6. Don't let it get too high. Keep the alkalinity near 80. And that'll keep your pool from scaling. So you can use acid to control the calcium hardness in the water, but you really can't reverse it with the muriatic acid. It's just used to keep the pH and alkalinity low so that you don't have scaling in your pool. If your hardness level is low, you can actually add calcium chloride to bring it up. That's very easy to do. You just broadcast it in the pool. I'm going to use a Taylor kit to test for calcium hardness. And it's a reagent triation test. So it's a drop test. It's the most accurate way to test for calcium hardness. Okay, so to perform this test, you're going to actually add um, 20 drops of the R10 buffer. And swirl it around and mix it up. So we're going to add 5 drops of R11. And swirl that around. And if you have calcium hardness, it'll turn pink like that. And then we're going to add R12, counting each drop and swirling it, and that will give you your calcium hardness reading. When you get to the last drop and it turns blue, go ahead and add one more drop and then subtract it just to make sure that is the right reading. I'm going to go ahead and keep adding. So that turned blue around 4. 40 drops.
And a very high chlorine reading could throw off the test. You can add a chlorine neutralizer before you run the calcium hardness test to counter that. And so an extremely high chlorine level can also interfere with the test. So you can use the R7 a new, uh, chlorine neutralizer. You can add a few drops in before you start the test and that will help give you more accurate reading if the chlorine level is really high. You can see it turned after about 40 drops and add 41 just to make sure. It's got a little bit of a purple tint to it and that's due to the copper in the water. Um, that can be fixed also. It's a fairly easy test to perform yourself with the kit. And again, you can also do the total hardness with the test strips to get a kind of a ballpark reading also. And the calcium hardness is really important also when the water starts getting warm. That's why you'll notice that in a lot of commercial hot tubs, they really they have a lot of scale buildup. The hotter the water, the more the calcium doesn't dissolve in there, causing that scale buildup on the plaster.